Hi, my name is Liana Laughlin. I am 17 years old and I am the reigning Miss Westfields and Mochaning Manal in 2019. I met Doctora Contessa through my mom because my mom really had severe allergies and skin problems and I've noticed when I look at her skin, it vastly improved. So I, I was amazed and I wanted to try it out as well. One thing that I really love about this place is the staff. As soon as you enter, you could already feel the difference of the atmosphere. It is very calm and peaceful in here. I mean, just like a spa, you need to feel good while you're doing the procedures they are doing for you. And the staff are also very friendly and they're very good at making you feel comfortable and welcome. The procedure that we will be doing today will focus more on my cheeks and it is called UL therapy, which is a non-invasive, non-surgical procedure, which means that there is no downtime and in two weeks you could see visible results already. And this is to lift up my skin and tighten it, giving it a V-contour shape. So stay tuned and don't go away. Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Certified Skin Authority. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician here at the CSA Medical Aesthetics. In today's episode, we have a young guest. She's just 17 years old and soon to be a beauty queen nationally or hopefully internationally. Okay, so let us all welcome Miss Liana. Hi everyone. Welcome, Liana, to our CSA Certified Skin Authority. Okay, Liana here, of course, a very young, young girl, <laughs> young lady. Okay, um, we were talking a while ago about treatment on the face for the young generation right now. And she mentioned that prevention is better than cure, right? Mm -hmm. um, rather than starting a treatment at an older age, why not start it at an earlier age? Man, I right? think it is like better to start at an earlier age because if you're older, it will be a little bit harder and you're going to have to do more work to reverse what has already happened. Exactly. That's why usually among our older clients, we do combination treatment to actually target wrinkles, to target the sagginess mm -hmm. of the face, or all those loose tissues, mm -hmm. those mid face that drops and then those chin or jowls so she's right in saying that okay and also the young generation right now are so conscious about their looks especially nowadays with our technology with the cell phones with the selfie <laughs> so a lot of young people are so conscious about their looks when when like they're doing their like taking a picture and which angle what angle which is the best <laughs> angle so it's been like a fad right now to like improve features on the face, okay? With Liana, she's so young, still a baby face. <laughs> As you can see, when you have a younger face, you still have this looking at the upper third, a very good shaped forehead here, okay? Uh, a very good um, 
brow area with that good arch. Okay, full temple here. The eye region, I could say, wow, a very like um, attractive eyes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then mid face region, the cheek area, still full cheeks. And then nasal region, the center of the face, I could say, magandang kanyang ilong. Very ideal nose also. And then lower face, yan, a good jawline too. And the chin, wow. Right? Mm -hmm. So, actually, what does Liana need? Okay, she's so pretty already. And her skin texture is already very beautiful. As we are talking about a while ago, so prevention is better than cure. She wanted to maintain these fuller cheeks, this tight skin, firm skin, okay? And actually, for the younger generation right now, they also wanted to do some face contouring. We call the, like, a face uh, enhancement. For example, looking at Liana right now, I was assessing her mid-face region. I was noticing that the cheek area is kind of, what do you call this, Liana? A little bit forward or projected, okay? And the mid-face also, like the lower cheek region, it's like, uh, it's beginning to have this droopiness here, okay? You get what I'm trying to say, Liana? Now notice mo rin, like, yung mid-face mo, I think Liana is um, one of the top students in the school. She really studies very well. Mm -hmm. So, among our teenagers or high school students, puyat or like they always study and there's this lack of sleep. So, tendency, the eye area, the under eye, it can be sunken or hollow and you may notice some uh, dark circles, right? Yes. And then, as you see this region here, the so-called tear trough, you'll notice like a line going down, okay? So, this is a beginning mid-cheek line here or groove here that we wanted to prevent. Because the generation right now, I think um, because of your studies too and you're so busy, she's joining beauty pageants, a lot of rehearsals and call times like this, like that. They have to wake up early. So, at this generation, they're having this stressful lifestyle already. And when we have a stress in our lives, we tend to see it in our face. Okay, so I'm just noticing the under eye region and this mid face area. It's beginning to droop down. Okay, and with Liana also another thing. It's very important that um, in in the camera, your face should be smaller, right? Because I'm looking at Liana. Actually, she has a small face. Okay, most of our celebrities right now are those. Uh, prominent people that you see on the screen when you see them in person they have smaller face pala uh, when we had this activity with the uh, MERS aesthetics we saw a year ago um, Miss Pia Wards back I thought on the television her face was um, kind of wider. wider then when I saw her in person like it's like within your the palm of your hand you can you can um, like um, her face may fit into the palm of your hand. Ang ang liit liit lang po pala ng mukha when you see them in person. But in camera, it's getting wider pala. It's because you know the television that we have right now, or especially high definition TVs, they have this like stretching effect on the face. So mm -hmm. nag stretch po yan. Pati nga po ilong na stretch eh, mohang wide nose eh. Kaya when you see us in person. Most of my clients, when they see me in person po, hindi naman po pala malaki ang mukha nyo. So, it's important like Liana will be joining a beauty pageant. Then they will have some, you know, your television or screen presentation. Your face should look very proportionate and also um, smaller looking, right? Yes. That's why we're going to have a procedure today that will target all those concerns. The face slimming, the face contouring, the face reshaping, as well as the prevention mm -hmm. of the prevention. aging process. Aren't you excited, Liana? I'm very excited to see the results. Yes. I'm so excited too. So, mga kasiyasay, ating abangan. Ano po ba ang procedure na ating gagawin for Liana sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority? back mga kasese. So we are now at the part of doing a procedure of the so-called face slimming, face contouring for Liana. So today, what we will be doing is the so-called Ultherapy treatment. 
Okay, for Liana, we wanted also a procedure na non-surgical, non-invasive. So, this kind of machine or device is the high-intensity focus ultrasound. Okay, and it targets fat pads of our face para po mag-reduce yung fat or mas slim yung ating mukha. So, hindi lang po ito sa mga older generations who wanted to do face lifting, face tightening, skin firming, skin lifting. It's also for our younger generations right now who just wanted to do enhancements on the face, particularly nga po yung face contouring or making the face smaller. Kasi po, the machine has a certain cartridge that could reach yung subcutaneous fat layer, yung layer na merong fat pads para po ma-reduce niya or medyo mas slim niya po. Okay? Kasi ang ating mukha, maraming mga fat pads yan. It has superficial fat pads and deep fat pads. So, we wanted to reach those tissues and slim them. Okay? Actually, the machine also has a layer just for the dermis or the skin layer lang to stimulate the fibroblasts to synthesize new collagen fibers. And that will be the one to give a tightening and firming effect. And at the same time, the texture of the skin will improve because yung mga pores, they kind of close also because of the collagen that was uh, formed or produced with the effect or after the old therapy procedure. Do you have any question, uh, Liana, before I start with this one? Well, my only main concern is how it will feel. Like, will it hurt a little or...? Yan. That's a very important question also because in any procedure that we do on the face, major question, is it painful? So definitely the machine will have some energy pulse that it will deliver into the skin and uh, under the skin. You will feel that sensation. It's like a um, tiny, tiny prick or a minimal sensation of like a heat sensation. Mm. So, there's a warm sensation and like a tiny tap on the skin. And it's tolerable, okay? Because actually, we placed topical anesthesia, the cream, a while ago. And it's better to leave that for about half an hour to an hour to really numb the skin. Okay? Actually, the machine has also a certain energy level whereby we can adjust the, the energy level. If you can't toler tolerate certain energy, we can lower it for you, okay? So actually, before I do the procedure, I want to do a mapping for Leanne. It's also important to do face mapping. So the target is mid face to lower face. And um, we wanted to slim the mid face region, the one, the middle cheek fat pad. That's the one we wanted to work on, this part here. Because it's kind of uh, bulge or protrude. So we wanted to reduce it a, a bit. Okay, and then also we wanted the jawline to be better, well defined, and also this side here, the posterior side of the face, we wanted to slim it also. So when we do a mapping or the lines for the Ultera, we make a landmark from the sides of the nose to the preauricular region or to the tragus of our ear. Okay, so this is like um. A division between the upper half and the lower half of the face okay so in the this part we wanted to target this nasolabial fat compartment and the cheek fat compartment here and also targeting the jowl fat here so those are regions that we wanted to target now when we do our ultera we also have to be very careful with important anatomical structures the branches of the facial nerve so uh, you guys when you a hevel terra done make sure that the one doing it is very aware of an important anatomical structure the facial nerve because complications can happen if um, a certain operator target or was um kind of kind of zap or like there's an energy pulse that reached the facial nerve or the branches of the facial nerve so we don't want that to happen so regions that, that we wanted to prevent are this area here on the corner of the mouth to the chin area because at this part we have the so-called marginal mandibular branch okay so we wanted to prevent that and actually the facial nerve comes out from this there's actually a deep facial nerve that goes here anyway the ultera what we love about ultera is that it has this deep sea technology you can see the different layers in the face 
where you want to deliver the energy pulse. So um, there's safety here. So the doctor will be able to visualize which depth we are in. So the anatomical structures like the vessels and the, the nerve, we know where it is placed. So in this area, we can assess where or which anatomical plane we are targeting. So that's so why I love all therapy because of its safety and it's precise that it can deliver the energy pulse in just the right anatomical depth. So that's very important po. Ito po yung kakaiba ng Ocera sa other high po. Precision. Meron po siyang precision and safety because of this deep sea technology. Okay? So that's very informative, right, Liana? Yeah, very. Okay. So um, areas that we wanted to avoid very near the auricular or preauricular region. Okay, we wanted to avoid this. So we just wanted to target within these columns here. So this is the column that we wanted to deliver our Ultera energy. Okay? And also, if we want to treat the others uh, who have a concern of double chin or submental fat, we can also treat that. And when we treat the submental fat, we only uh, treat the area, like this is the mentum here or below the chin. We just have to treat this square area here for the double chin or the submental fat, okay? And then lateral sides of the neck. The others would want to have a better jawline, so we can also target that. And now for Liana, we'll be doing a 4.5 and 3.0 millimeter depth of cartridges, plus we'll be giving her a total of 200 Ultera lines. So that's several lines already, okay? So again, we have to be very careful of the unsafe zone that we call it and then this is a marker for the other side okay so up to the tragus and then we're drawing the mandibular line here and then our treatment areas within these columns only so we can deliver those shots within that so actually we have a chart here whereby we also follow the chart it tells us which region, anatomical region, where to deliver the Ultera shots or, or Ultera lines. So, like this is a 4.5 millimeter depth. We worked on the lower half of the face and even the neck region. And we can write here how many shots have we delivered in one treatment. So, anyways, you can see yung mga X marks. The X marks are the one we have to avoid po due to the presence of the, the nerve branch. Okay? We don't want to damage a nerve. Okay, so take note po yan sa lahat ng mga clients na curious about this kind of treatment. Isang danger po is like if a, an operator is just doing the shots wherever part of the face, baka po may matamaan na ugat or may matamaan na nerve. And we don't want to cause nerve damage, okay? Or neuropathy na po. So meron din po siya, it also has a 3.0 millimeter depth and also a 1.5 millimeter depth, okay? So they say safety first. So we want it to be more beautiful and really confident, but we don't want to experience any problem in, in these kinds of treatment. And another thing that I want to add to you all guys is also assess the face of your client. Do a split face or hemi face assessment. It's normal that we have a so-called facial asymmetry. If you divide your face into two, and observe the shape of the eyes, the size of the eyes, observe the mid-face region, uh, the volume, also look for the jaws or the jawline. It's normal that we are not perfectly even. We are not perfectly symmetrical. One side can be bigger, the other side can be smaller. One side can be saggier, the other side can be less saggier. Or like the eye area, one eye can be smaller than the other eye. And also when you do hemi-face of the nose, one alar could be bigger compared to the other side. So, it's normal po, it's inherent. And some people, it's not obvious. For some people, there's an obvious facial asymmetry. With Liana, I already assess her face. I'm noticing that one side is like more of a volume. Parang may mas matabang isang side, right? And compared to the other side. Just like when we buy our shoes, di ba meron yung isang paa na mas malaki kaysa sa kabila? So, when we like um, buy a shoe and then we try to fit in one part, we start, ako, I start with the left eh, kasi my left foot is bigger than the right. Make sense? Yeah. So, I just wanted to add all these inputs, guys, kasi I receive a lot of questions from my clients too. I hope I, I was able to answer those 
uh, most of my clients' queries. Okay, Liana will be proceeding with the old therapy procedure sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. Say, so we'll now start with our Ulterra procedure, okay? I'll be working on the left side of the face first. So we'll be doing a split face treatment. Okay, starting na. I have a 0.9 energy here. Okay, first shot. Are you okay, Liana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay lang, right? You feel some tiny pricks? Mm -hmm. It's tolerable? Okay, that's good. Okay. Some of my patients are asking me, most of the time, how much does this treatment cost? Okay, that's a, also a very important question. Because most of the people are just inquiring eh, about the, the price of the procedure. So we always tell our clients that um, we have individual variations. Like our face, we vary in terms of our anatomical concerns or anatomical issues. Some, some individuals have like a puffier or a chubbier face. Some have like a hollow or sunken face. Right, Liana? Mm -hmm. So, some people have a strong skin laxity. Some people already have a weak skin laxity. So, in terms of the cost, we really have to do a so-called physical assessment. We have to check your skin condition, the tissue volume, the skin laxity, and also we assess the face symmetry. So, it's important to do first a so-called physical evaluation po. So, we can give or like um, recommend best kind of treatment. So, we can achieve the best result also. Okay. So, again, every clinic po who are doing this kind of treatment will really need to do an assessment. So, when you go to your doctors, diba, the doctors will have to check you first to check up in kamuna. So, sorry po that we don't have a so-called price list for these kinds of treatments. We're not really a so-called parang uh, shop that will just do any procedure without checking your face first. Because sometimes, meron pong mga contraindications. So, we also assess your physical health. So, importante po yun. Okay? So, if you are interested with this kind of treatment, we can do a so-called evaluation or assessment for you. So, meron po kaming FB page. You can like uh, do your inquiry and then um, they will reply to you requesting for like a front and side view picture just to show us po yung anatomical regions in the face that we need to work on and we can tell you how much of the treatment we can deliver to you okay so we'll be doing the half of the face first I'll finish the total of the 60 shots here, and then let's compare left and right if there's an improvement. Kasi bata pa si Liana, most of the younger people, they respond very well to treatments. Agad-agad pong nakaka-appreciate din tayo ng result sa kanila. Okay. So, we're nearing the 60 total lines. So, ating iti-check po yung, yung left and right after the 60 lines. Okay. Just a little bit more, Liana. Okay. And then, one. And a last shot there. Okay. So, I did the 60 lines on the left side using the 4.5 millimeter. And then, we will combine with the 3.0 millimeter. We will give a 40 shots there.
than the oil therapy, right now, we'll be also working on the masseter. We'll be injecting the zeomine from MERS, okay? So, I palpated for the masseter here and made the landmarks already. So, I have an injection point here. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Okay, just a small dose for Liana. You know, we really want to make it uh, too much of a change, okay? Just like a few units, two, four, six, eight, and ten. And then, at the posterior part, I'll be injecting another ten units. Okay, inhale, exhale. Okay. So, I have a landmark here. So, I'm just within the area that I need to target. Particularly, the masseter or chewing muscle. Para mas mag-slim talaga yung face ni Liana. Okay, that's done. So, next will be on the other side, our left side. Pattern lang po. Okay. So, actually, we also advise our clients doing masseter injection after this. As much as possible, avoid yung mga solid food. Like, most of the time, we, we love chewing mga meats, yung matitigas na karne. So, iwas lang po dun sa mga chinuchu na matitigas po. Or we always chew gums. So, medyo i-reduce lang natin. So that the muscle here will not be very big. Okay, so we targeted the muscle. So with the Ultera, we targeted our deep fat pads or the fat compartments and also the skin layer for skin tightening and firming. So we did the Ultera PN. Looking at Liana right now, I can see a result. We did a while ago yung half face or hemi face, split face. So, we noted that on the left side, we have seen a decrease in the nasolabial fold. Okay, na-reduce na yung bulge dito, the nasolabial fat bulge. So, left and right, so noticeable na decrease na po yung nasolabial crease or nasolabial line. And yung jowls, ayan, na-decrease na rin po. So, I think um, the osteotherapy really is a very good treatment for um, all ages, I could say. So, Liana is a teenager pa rin po, wanting some enhancements and prevention of the aging process. Plus, she wanted to do a face contouring, face reshaping. So, we wanted to narrow the lower half of the face para po maging B-contour rin siya po. And when it comes to like, um, she's joining beauty pageants, sa screen, maging smaller ang face. So, ayan. Thank you so much, Liana. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Okay, I know you're so busy with school <laughs> and with all these beauty pageants. Too. All worth it. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. So mga kasiyase kung mayan po silang mga katanungan, you may email us at csaclinclinic at yahoo.com or our FB page CSA Derm Centre. Ang aming clinic po ay matatagpuan dito sa Second Floor Pure Gold, Dau Building, Dau Macarthur Highway, Mabalakat, Pampanga. Contact numbers 0453311117 or 0933860919 or 0917504462. Six, eight. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyong panunood. Ang aming pong mga ibang videos matatagpuan sa ating YouTube channel, Contessa Salvador. And hoping that we can share a lot more information. Natutuwa lang po kami sa mga feedbacks that a lot of people are uh, appreciating us what we're sharing. So ito po ay, actually we just wanted to share uh, good information, mga safe uh, techniques, safe procedures. Importante lang po talaga safety po. Magtungo lang po dun sa mga trained doctors and do your research as well. Okay po? So, patuloy po sana nilang tangkilikin ng aming mga episodes. Ayan mga CSA, maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. So, when it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority. Music